What's going on everybody? VI Guy here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the AK-47. Now the AK-47 is considered an assault rifle, an AR, but with the right modifications you can turn it into an LMG or a submachine gun. Let me explain. So in this Call of Duty they did something somewhat different they allow you to put on these modifications that not only change the performance of the gun but the big thing is the appearance and with the right modifications you could turn this thing into something completely different completely new and then man for whatever reason i always want to make this gun the last gun you unlock which i don't understand why because compared to the others it don't perform all that well but without any modifications on it i'm gonna roll some clips of me using it so you can see how it handles So, other than the fact that it's an AK and it look good and it sound good, to me, uh, it doesn't perform all that well. It has a lot of recoil, it likes to jump around a lot when you're shooting targets. Once you put these other modifications on to make it something else, uh, to me the issue just moves around. It becomes another problem, not the problem you had before, which you'll see once we move into the next variation. And that is going to be the RPK. Now the RPK is considered the LMG in the AK world. So we're gonna go through the modifications real quick. We're gonna put on the RPK barrel, and then we're gonna move on over to the stock. There's a LMG stock. I'm gonna put that on. It's really for another type of LMG made by Russians, but for this case, we're gonna use that stock as well. Now, this gun comes equipped with a bipod, but it is closed, so to add to the RPK image, I'm gonna put on the under barrel bipod so that you can see that it's an RPK. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add the round drum. Because it's an LMG, you want it to have the most rounds it can have. In this case, this round drum adds about 75 rounds in the magazine. Then we're gonna move on to the scope. Now there's two scopes I like to use for the RPK. One's the VLK scope, which is a times three magnification which is really my preference, but then there's also the red dot scope as well for when you don't feel like you wanna see as far or even times three magnification. Both these scopes are Russian made, so they kinda of go well with the gun. Uh, just personally, I prefer to always have optics where I can look in, especially when you can set up with a bipod and focus on your shot without having to be super close which I think is one of the biggest benefits of using the RPK is like you have the power of a sniper but a magazine of a light machine gun. So once again, I'm gonna let some clips roll after this preview of the weapon so you can see how it handles. Out of fuel. 
returning to his flight. So, in all, the RPK really ain't a bad, you know, it's just really a stationary weapon. You really can't expect to move around a whole lot, especially when you're aiming down the sights, because it'll punish you. It'll give you horrible accuracy. So, I have learned if you see a target to just keep still and focus on the shot. And, you know, because I use that three times optics, it really helps out. So, instead of having to be stationary, you can go ahead and build the AK-74U instead, which is a submachine gun. So we're going to start with changing the barrel to the 74U barrel. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the stock to no stock. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and change the magazine. Only because that looks like a standard AK magazine, I'm going to change the rounds. And then, you know, that's it really, but if you want, you can change the muzzle since the game allows you to add five additions. I'm going to put the muzzle brake just because it helps with control of the weapon. And then usually I put on a perk for either faster reload or, or more ammo, just depending on your play preference. Now, this gun really doesn't need a scope, but just because I play hardcore, I like to put a red dot on just to be sure that I'm on a target sometimes being at a close range the iron sights will suffice but once these men fire away sometimes the red dot comes in handy so again after this little preview of the weapon shows I'm gonna show you how the weapon performs UAV ready for deployment this is Falcon good copy UAV beginning flyover Missile go for launch. Enemy UAV overhead. So as you can see, the 74U version of this gun is a lot lighter, so you're able to move around a lot faster. I don't know if you picked that up, but I was able to just run back and forth and you know kill these guys while they were in their spawn only because it's a lot lighter than it you know it would be as a full LMG or a regular AR but that's actually gonna be it for this video guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I gonna check out you later